Hundreds by Andrew Garfield, Vanessa Hudgens, and Joshua Henry. Hen- Henry? Henry from the Netflix original Tick, Tick, Boom. Let's get into it. Yes. Law buzz. Oh, uh, Lots of from, buzz. From hearing nothing about it to hearing so much praise about it. that It's the quickest, like, it is real one quick. day, didn't even know it was a thing. Didn't even know it was ne- on Netflix. Next, next day... Heard it's an Oscar contender. This is a big one. <laughs> it's a big one. Yeah. So, Tick Tick Boom is directed by Lin Manuel Miranda. Yeah, directorial debut. Directorial debut for a debut. You know, I'll give the man credit. He did not bad, mm-hmm. not bad at all. We'll get into that. We'll get into it. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. It stars uh, Andrew Garfield in his first musical role yeah. and the first main role I've seen him in since Hacksaw Ridge. Yes. God, uh, yeah, remember Which, that song? Which, uh, I saw Hacksaw Ridge alone in the cinema on Valentine's Day one year. Ah. How romantic. I'm a sad person. <laughs> also starring Alexandra Shipp, Robin De Jesus, Jean- uh, Vanessa Hudgens, Joshua Henry, as I mentioned, um, and uh, a good few others, but uh, a pretty good cast yeah. with some lovely voices. This is a musical film and is the story of Josh Jonathan nope. Larson, Larson who is a young promising theater uh composer and writer and is developing a play and so it, the story is of him getting this play uh that he's been writing for 8 years and trying to get it off the ground in a sort of workshop fashion and so is the story of that and goes through the motions of his personal life how it affects his personal life um, all taking place within the mid uh, the very end of well it's 1990 isn't it I believe yes I believe Be- because the film takes a an approach of it's a story being told and the story being told is the, the creation of this play Yeah. and then Jonathan Larson is telling audiences the story through an actual play which did exist which did exist the yes. play their tick tick boom is a real play that did exist and this is a visualization of that play yes. which is the real story of his life in the creation of his play suburbia it's, it's something like that there's it's a superior sup, superior i don't know no i don't i can't remember it's something i can't remember but but, it, but it's a rock opera yeah start about the distant future and it's got not aliens but it is a futuristic musical it's a it's a bit weird it's a bit weird yes uh but it's set in new york in the 90s in the slap by middle of the abes uh, uh, abe abes yes aids yes. epidemic um that uh struck america and deals with it's kind of got subtext on it but it does deal with the impact that the aids epidemic had on um gay men within uh, New York as well um, and does it in a very tasteful fashion as well mm-hmm. um, I would have liked to have actually seen more yes anyway the main star of the show was Andrew Garfield who previously has never done any musical work and didn't even know that he could sing before no. doing this musical but which, he does a very good but job but he does a bloody good job yeah and Andrew Garfield is the biggest thing people are pointing to when they talk about this film everyone mm-hmm. goes Andrew Garfield and points to this film and I get it. He is really good. Mm-hmm. Like, really, really good. And I can see him getting nominated. Winning? I don't know. But mm-hmm. I can't really think of anyone else. I do think he's excellent. However, I feel like people people are finally now realizing that Andrew Garfield is an excellent actor. Mm-hmm. But he's been excellent in so many things. It's just because he's known as Spider-Man, Spider-Man. in two mediocre to bad films. And... Like, 99 Homes, he's brilliant in that. Hacksaw Ridge, as you said, brilliant in that. Martin Scorsese's Silence, fantastic in that. The Social Network. Social Network. Like, he is a brilliant actor. So, the fact that he's brilliant in this, that is not surprising. Mm. Of course he was going to be brilliant. He's always a really good actor. But yeah, he, he's a, he puts in an excellent performance. He does very, 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 very well. It's very energetic. It's, and very, it's incredible. He flows so well, and the fact that this is his first musical. When he started singing, I was I was 
thoroughly impressed. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, wow, okay, we're, the, you can really do the it. The opening number to this film, Happy Birthday, mm-hmm. um, I think it's what it's called. 3090? Oh, 3090, that's yeah. it. Yeah, and it's his birthday um, song, yeah. His birthday song is really, really good, and mm-hmm. I'd love to play it on air. It swears. We cannot, unfortunately. Yes. Uh, but please do check out the soundtrack for this film. But I will stop you there and just say, go check out this film. I think this is a really good film. Good, not great, okay. not brilliant, not perfect, but good. This is a solid, good film. I think it's very fun. I think it's got a lot of heart to it. I think that Andrew Garfield is a complete standout. I think the side cast all do fantastic as well. I'm with him. I'm fully believing he's John Larson. Mm -hmm. I think he's doing great. Mm -hmm. I really like it. I like the songs. I like the music. I like the visuals. I like the way that they deal with the songs. Um, And if I compared it to another musical I've seen recently, that being Dear Evan Hansen, this film is night and day. Yes. And I thoroughly enjoy this film. I think it's good. I'm very glad you brought up Dear Evan Hansen. But um, I, I fully agree with you in the musical... The musical sections of this film, they they take you out of the scene, what you love. That's what I need. And um, yes, I do think there's many standout uh, musical sequences in this film, and they're always very, very pitch perfect, I say. Mm-hmm. Um, and I do think that's because Lin-Manuel Miranda knows how to sequence a musical number. Mm-hmm. However, I, I, I am not as strong on this film as you. I didn't think you were. I do think that Andrew Garfield is fantastic and I think he is a definite reason for seeing this film however I am not too fond on the actual screenplay and then even uh, Manuel Miranda's direction really in this yeah I'll talk about the screenplay first please do because I feel like I I feel like you'll you appreciate Lin-Manuel Miranda's direction so we'll get into that a little bit later on but um, the screenplay is actually written by the same guy that wrote the movie adaptation of Dear Evan Hansen. And Ooh. yes, exactly. Exactly. How bonkers is that? And I do agree with you. Ooh. Dear Evan Hansen and Tick Tick Boom, night and day. Fully agree with you there. So it makes me think that the reason why I hate Dear Evan Hansen is fully because of its actual main element. Not from what the guy did as a movie adaptation. Yeah. I just don't like that story straight up. But... With this, I feel like my problems stem from the fact that I either, A, don't know enough about Jonathan Larson or musical theatre in general, or the fact that the screenplay takes it as that these situations that's happening with Jonathan Larson are things that are just normal to happen and you should respect him for what he's doing. And I'll get I'll get into what I mean. There's moments in this film where Jonathan basically disregards everyone in his life. Yeah. For if, if for the sake of his art. His art he's been doing this musical for 8 years and it's a it's a huge thing for him. It's his dream, he wants to follow it. But in the process, he disregards Everyone, his, all of his friends, his girlfriend, etc. And obviously the film depicts that as not a good thing. And that is shown and that is showcased. And without spoiling anything, it is dealt with. However, I definitely feel like it takes the fact that Jonathan Larson, who was the creator of Rent, the, the very famous uh, musical... It takes the idea that Jonathan Larson and his story is so brilliant and I don't think that it deals with the fact that he's been not a nice person to these people very well. I don't think it it showcases a comeuppance. It deals with it in a sense of like, oh, well, he did all those bad things but look where it got him he he created Rent he is one of the fundamentals of musical theatre and how brilliant was his work so all the things that he did justifiable because this is where it got him and I don't think that that is down to the actual Tick Tick Boom 
musical performance that was created by Jonathan Larson and performed by, you by Jonathan think Larson. That's down to Lin Manuel's direction. No, I think it's down to the screenplay. Really? I think it's down to the screenwriter, the same one that did Dear Evan Hansen. Dirty. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see where you're getting at. Right, I agree. I, f- I feel like there's I a, agree. there's there's something there that it gets lost in translation. Yeah. I yeah, think yeah. Jonathan Larson telling his story on Broadway through a musical performance, the heart, the actual mechanics of him saying, well, I was this bad person, but here's where I got, here's all the heart that I've learned, and this is where I'm going. That is beautiful, and I think that is very empowering and brilliant and incredible for musical theatre. But the way that the story is told here it kind of insinuates that we already know everything about Jonathan Larson. Yeah. I think and I and take I, him as a brilliant force. I think I'm inclined to agree. The because that was an issue I had with Dear Evan Hansen was that mm-hmm. the film completely disregards the comeuppance that he should have gotten for mm-hmm. doing such a terrible thing. I think it's more clear in Dear Evan Hansen, like mm-hmm. much more clear that there should have been a comeuppance there Definitely. rather than what you're getting in Tick Tick Boom, which I think is why I never noticed it as much of an issue. However, I am. I do agree to a, to, to an extent. Mm-hmm. I do agree that there should have been a bit more there. Um, That's the main problem I had with it. And then the other one was Lin Manuel Miranda's directing, and I think he's, I think he does excellent in the actual musical sequences. I think they're fast paced, they're quirky, they're fun, they're they get through it, and you're like, yeah, okay, that was really enjoyable. But actually, in every other sequence of the film, he still regards the the camera pardon me he regards the camera as basically like a music video director and it's not to say that there's not fun like transitions and that there's not fun like editing jokes that he throws in here and there but i just don't think it i I think it is a bit too scattershot and it's a bit too all over place and it feels like a directorial debut at the same time it's impressive i suppose yeah i think i i I think I know what you mean. Maybe mm-hmm. I didn't notice it as much because I quite enjoy that. Yeah. Oh, that's what I was saying to you. That's what the conversation we had. I, th- I remember you said, when you mentioned that to me about the film, before I had seen it, the thing I said to you was, well, if I were to direct a film, I think that's how I would mm-hmm. accidentally do it, which is direct it as a music video. Yeah. As I, as I am someone who loves to put visuals to music. And maybe that's why I never noticed it and enjoyed it so much. Mm-hmm. was because it was exactly what I think it's what I would, you li- it's yeah, what it's I what would like. like to do. Yeah. And it's what I like. So I think that's why I never noticed it as much as you did. Mm-hmm. Very interesting. Uh, yeah, agree. I I I also agree mm-hmm. on that point. You are correct. Um, I don't think it'll do big on anything. Maybe other than original song. I don't know if there is any original. Are songs, they original songs there? or are they all from the? Mu- the I think musical? they might be all from the musical. Well, I think it will do well for Andrew Garfield. Yes, and I think, I think yeah. that'll. I think he will go on to get a nomination. Win? I don't know. I haven't seen anything else that has really given him a steep competition mm. for personally at least Mm -hmm. in saying all that and saying what I just said the final 30 minutes I think you'd agree the final 30 minutes of this film are really good they are really really I think the final 30 minutes are excellent really picks up in the end Mm -hmm. Um, it really because it's got more heart to it and situations happen and it's less of Jonathan Larson being a neglectful person to his friends and more so mending that relationship Mm -hmm. with people which does get better Um, the songs are more heartfelt there's less the camera is more still it's giving it. It's giving you breathing room rather than going da 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 all over the place. So I uh, I agree. I agree with what you say. Uh, yeah, I still liked it. Yes, and of course. I would still recommend it to people. I don't think it's as good as you know. I don't think it's absolutely annihilating slice spread like everyone else is saying it is. <laughs> but I still like it for yes. what it is, and I still think people should watch Tick Tick Boom. Um, and enjoy it as a musical it's one of the better musicals I've seen this year I will um, agree with you there because you don't get many in a year and uh, this is probably the best one I've seen in a while um, for a visual on screen musical that is um, considering how much I hated Dear Evan Hansen and how middle of the road in Canto was this has certainly done well Mm -hmm. even more so than In the Heights and In the Heights wasn't that good either (laughs) it was okay you love musicals do you? I think I do. <laughs> I think I'm. I think I'm too shy to uh, admit to, to admit, it. Yeah, but I do like a musical. I am. Uh, I am. Um, I'm, I enjoy them. You're warming to them. I'm. Wa- I'm warming to them. That's yes. a good way to put it. I am. But yeah, that's been Tick Tick Boom. It's on Netflix, available to watch. If you have a subscription, you can easily check it out and give it a watch. We would 
highly recommend that you do and mm-hmm. um, as it will be probably one of the main discussion points surrounding oscar season next year so yeah 